Following the negative trend of drug abuse ravaging the state, especially among youths, concerned individuals and groups in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, are beginning to express worry over the unfortunate situation. Like never before, some of the youths in the state are beginning to commit unthinkable crimes such as beating up their mothers, fathers, some even go as far as committing murder under the influence of methamphetamine, a dangerous substance popularly identified as Upurumiri in Igbo, the state's local dialect. Most times, they get apprehended and flogged mercilessly by their community leaders for engaging in such unlawful act, but that seems not enough to curb the menace. It has continued to grow overwhelmingly leaving some of the youths insane. White, get a white. Coco white. Coco white, get a coco white. Okay. Can you hear me? I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Oh, I'm going to talk. 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 Speaking in an interview with newsmen in Oka, the Anambra State Capital, the Coordinator of Civil Society on Migration and Development, Anambra State Chapter, Ms. Ukeria Onyemobi, who also doubles as the convener Zara Life Foundation, said something must be done urgently to end the scourge before it is too late. The, is the federal government, the NDLA, the community, the PGs, the Iwe, it has to be a collective effort to fight it. The rampage is, is alarming. It's not something the states in particular, uh, the way I'm seeing it is rampage in the southeast. So we, they need to stand up. They need to fight it from the community level to the states, to every cook and corner, to raise a serious alarm, to first of all start looking for the dealers, not the end users. It has to start with the dealers. Flogging is fine, it's a, like a caution, but they need to do more. Onyomobi, whose foundation is already at the front line, sensitizing the youth of the state from one community to another, advocates serious involvement of government, state and non-state actors in the campaign to achieve the desired result and save the youth from further destruction of themselves. This thing is not with us before. Just, I, I, in fact, I don't even know what the simple meaning is all about. I've not seen it. I don't know what it looks like. But uh, for the three, four months now, you see young people, young ladies being tattered, being undressed, and a lot, a lot of our youths are being damaged. Destiny are being damaged. So everybody has a part to play. It's not something we should say it's not my business. At the moment, hundreds of youths in the state have fallen victims to this dangerous trend, and it is hope that the clarion call will get the needed response and the dangerous situation be brought under control. From Anambra, Praise a Wolfeso, Prudent MS TV News. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube page, Prudent MS TV, prudently informing and entertaining you.